let's do some processing. What? What? What the hell? That was weird. All right, what's going on? Whoa! Holy crap. Goddamn Pigs Inside update. So hopefully that's never happened to you, but I'm sure many of us from time to time have had issues with the Pix Inside update process. Perhaps some scripts or processes have just vanished. I know I see from time to time, and in particular lately, that people are losing things like GHS or my Borax palette utility script from the menus. So let's dive straight into a five minute Friday and look at three ways that we can perhaps fix the issue if it happens. So the first method works for scripts. If you go to the script folder here and go down to feature scripts, then all the scripts that are currently installed on your system show up here. And hopefully it's as simple as uh, one of these tick marks has just been turned off for some reason. Let's say we, we come up here and we see Forex Palette Utility, or if you still use GHS as a script, they might just be unticked here. But if that's not the case, then you can try clicking on this regenerate button or clicking on the add button here and navigating to where your scripts are located, which for me is in the default location for Windows, the C drive, program files, Pix Insight, source scripts. Uh, and hopefully it still shows up here. So Forex Palette shows up here, for instance, GHS shows up here, for instance. If that's the case, then you can just click on that folder and click select folder. I'm not going to do that because it'll reinstall it. Um, and then you can click done. And that will re-add it back. Um, so if you're lucky, that fixes your script issues. So the second method assumes that you are using repositories. And I'm sure most of us are by now. So they're found under resources, updates, manage repositories. So here's a list of all the repositories I have, various scripts and processes. And you can always add and remove more as you need to. Now you'll notice that some of them are blurred out and that's because they're for beta testing and not for public eyes, uh, top secret and all that. So to update your system, you go to that same menu, resources, updates, check for updates. And it says it's downloading repository information. What it's doing is it's checking a file on the Pix Inside end and comparing it to a file on your end, on your system. And if there is a difference, if there's something more recent on the Pix Inside end, then it will pull in those updates and run it for you. I assume you tried that though, and you got this same message, no updates currently available, even though you know there must be because you're missing something. So the chances are that there's something wrong with that file on your system. And that file is under that same menu we were in before. So for me, it's under the C drive, program files, picks inside. And here it is here, updates.xri. That's the file it's comparing on your system to the file at the Pix Inside end. And perhaps this is corrupted. So rather than removing it, what we're going to do is we're going to copy it. And then I'm going to rename it. Uh, and, I mean, you could have left it like that, but I'm going to rename it the way I normally rename these kind of things as a dot old on the end and say, yes, that's fine, I want to change the extension. So that's now a copy of it in case something goes wrong, I can just remove that extension off the end and I've got the file back. What you would then do is delete this file. I'm not going to do that because I need it. And now if you go through and go to resources, updates, check for updates, it's going to recognize that file's missing from your computer. So it's going to pull the one off Pix Insight and that should have all the updated information on it to pull in those uh, processes and scripts that you're missing. But that is probably something you want to do after you've tried the check updates and if it's scripts, try the add feature scripts alternative first. Now, the last method is rather intrusive um, and it would definitely be a last resort. And it's probably Windows specific, although I'm sure you could do it in OS X as well. Uh, we need to, in Windows, go to add remove programs and then down here in search list, so you don't have to look through everything on your system, you can go to Pix Insight. And hopefully you'll have the option um, when you click on uninstall to 
repair the system. When, when you click on uninstall, it'll bring up the PixInsight uninstall um, program, I guess it is. Um, and one of the options should be to repair the system rather than completely uninstall it. I mean, if, if you need to completely uninstall it, then you can go to the PixInsight website and re-download the software under the, the software distribution. Um, I said it was intrusive and I said it's a last resort, but, but this really is the, if everything else has failed, way to try and fix the issue. Well, hopefully one of those three methods has solved the problem for you and you are now back operational with your missing processes and scripts. Anyway, I'm Paul from Polyman Astro. Thanks for watching.